Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at our first example of the source trans transformation technique to solve circuits like this. Actually, it's quite amazing sometimes because all we have to do is keep transforming and simplifying and at the end you end up with something really simple that you can solve very easily. The first thing we're going to do, and, and also another thing I should mention, is that it's not always clear what you should do but as long as you just keep going back and forth between the two and simplifying the circuit, eventually you'll get to where you want to get. So there's not necessarily a single path to the final solution. There may be multiple paths that you may be taking. What I'm going to do first is take these two and combine them into a voltage source and a resistor in series. What this then becomes is the following circuit. So now we'll have a voltage source here. Now also notice that it doesn't matter that this current source is here and the resistor is there because we could replace them. In other words, we could put the current source here and the resistor there to make it look like a more standard format. And then we can simply convert it into a voltage source. Notice the current is in this direction, so I'll put the plus here, the negative there. The resistor there, so the 4 ohm resistor will not come over here. We still have the 2 ohm resistor and we have the 8 ohm resistor like this and the 3 ohm and we still have the voltage source over there so we'll just take one step at a time now this is 2 ohms this is 8 ohms this is the 12 volt and 3 ohms what we're ultimately trying to do is of course we're trying to find the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor so we'll just keep putting that down the voltage of the 8 ohm resistor is what we're actually after now we need to find out what volts, voltage this should be. Remember with Ohm's law that I is equal to V over R, which means that V is equal to I times R. So in this case, we take the current of the current source and the resistor. We multiply the two. That means we end up with 12 volts right here. Current is 3 and the resistance is 4, which is equal to 12 volts. That's what we're looking for. We have now simplified that. The next thing we're going to do is combine these two. That becomes a 6 ohm resistor. Now we're going to turn this and this section right here. So let me go ahead and draw a little circle around it like this and this. And we're going to turn that into a current source and a parallel resistor. Now you may say, well, why do I want to do that when I just change it from a current source to a voltage source? The reason is in this way I can combine those two resistors. Now I can go back and replace it again with a current source. So we have a 6 ohm resistor and a 12 volt um, voltage source. That becomes the following. The 6 ohm resistor will now be in parallel. Notice 4 plus 2 is 6. That's this resistor right here. We still have the 8 ohm resistor. And then this and this becomes a current source with a resistor in parallel that this becomes this stays as a 3 ohm resistor this will now be a current source in this direction this will be a current source in this direction now we need to find the values for those current sources and I since I is equal to V over R in this case we had a voltage of 12 volts and a resistance of 4 ohms that becomes a oh, 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 6 ohms 4 plus 2 is 6 ohms, so divide by 6 ohms, and we get 2 amps. This now becomes a 2 amp source. And over here, we get I equals V over R. The voltage was 12 volts, and the resistance 3 ohms. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 amps. This becomes a 4 amp source. One thing that has changed is there's no longer any resistors near the top. Notice that the 6 ohm and the 3 ohm resistor, they are in parallel. We're still trying to find the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. That hasn't changed. But what I can do now is I can combine the 6 and the 3 ohm resistor into a single resistor. And I can move this current source over to the other side. It really doesn't matter since everything is parallel to one another. I can move this one over here. I can combine the 6 and the 3 ohm resistors. Since they're in parallel, the resistance total will be equal to the product, 6 times 3 over the sum, 6 plus 3, that's 18 divided by 9, or 2 ohms. I can replace the 6 and the 3 ohm resistor by a single 2 ohm resistor. I'll go ahead and place it there. I'll move the current source in that direction, and my circuit will now look like this. 
So let me write it like this. This is my 8 ohm. This will now become a 2 ohm resistor. I still have my 4 amp current source and I moved my 2 amp current source to the other side. I moved it over here. Now, I didn't really need to move it there. The reason I did is it'll make it a little bit easier to see what we're going to do on the next step. I'm looking for the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. This is now a 2 ohm resistor and here I have the 4 amp current going in an upward direction and I have a 2 amp current in a downward direction, 2 amps like this. The reason why I wrote it like this, remember the 6 and the 3 became the 2, the 2 amp source went over there. The reason I did that is now look at those two sources side by side. One of them is driving 4 amps in this direction, the other one is driving 2 amps in this direction. If I combine those two, I end up with a single source with 2 amps going up. So that will be the next step, coming over here. I still have the 8 ohm resistor and the 2 ohm resistor and those two will now be combined into a single source. It will now be a single source with 2 amps in the upward direction. This is my 2 ohm resistor and my 8 ohm resistor and I'm looking for the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. I guess I could go one more step. I can now turn this into a voltage source. Now let me do that. I can solve it like this or I can continue one more step. I can turn this into a voltage source. It'll look like this now. So I'll have my single 8 ohm resistor, my 2 ohm resistor this way and my voltage source this way. This is 8 ohms, 2 ohms. I'm still looking for the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. Now this becomes a voltage source. And to find the voltage of the voltage source, I can say that I is equal to V over R. Therefore, V is equal to I times R. And it's going to be 2 amps times the resistance of 2 ohms, which is 4 volts. This now becomes a 4 volt, oop, got a little ahead of myself, 4 volt source. Now I think it's really easy to try and figure out the potential difference across the 8 ohm resistor. Because now we can see that there's a, if we go around the circuit, I can calculate the current in the circuit. The current I is equal to V divided by R total. The voltage is 4 volts and the total resistance would be 2 plus 8, which is 10 ohms, which is 0.4 amps. And now I can calculate the current or the voltage drop across the 8 ohm resistor. The voltage drop across the 8 ohm resistor is equal to the current I times the resistance. That would be 0.4 amps multiplied times 8 ohms, which is equal to 3.2 volts. And that's the voltage drop across the 8 ohm resistor. These are actually kind of fun. Notice that you simply go through each step of the way, trying to simplify and combine and simplify and combine until you end up with something that's really simple to solve, just like that. And that would be the equivalent circuit to this relative to the 8 ohm resistor. And that's how we use the source transformation technique to take something that's rather complex into something that's really simple to solve. And that's how it's done.